Hello everyone, welcome back to Every Heart Can Dance. This is Kirill and I would like to make a short video talking about healthy movement of the hips. We talked about knees, now it's the hips turn. Okay, now it's not just even about the movement, it's the position that we have to maintain in order to keep our hips healthy. So, what it is, as usual, knee goes back, this muscle is pulling up and pushing forward. So this leg is very long and attached to our pelvis being straight too. In other words, the sacrum, these bones in here, is that, that part is trying to be straight pointing down. Not tilting it forward, not tilting it back, but trying to keep it as straight as possible. Okay? In this way, whenever we're moving our hips, it stays in a healthy position. The moment we're breaking it and compressing it, not only it hurts our back, but it also might be a little bit clicking feeling in the joints in here. Not very good. We have to make sure that there is a long groin coming from the leg up to the rib. So this part, if my seam of the pant, should not be curved. It should be still straight. I do not engage much of my glutes. I am in using this part to make the hip straight. Think in this way. And there are three points on our back in here. Hip bone one, hip bone two, and that sacrum, or a little bit lower, there's a tailbone. Now, every time we're moving our hips, we don't want to have our side and middle to move together. We do not move our hip and this part together together. That's already a broken position that we cannot move from. You must have this part straight. Even when I'm opening the hip, this part still staying in the middle. This part can go back, this in the middle. Now I change my weight, release, rotate, this hip goes back, but this part still stays in the middle. I'm not just jamming my glutes forward, that will be just locked, a little bit too much pressure. What I'm doing, I'm pressing down. Again, that energy goes towards the lower tummy, pubic bone, and all the internal organs go to the back. So we always have to feel that duality, that we kind of sandwich squeezed, this part being straight. That's the seam of the pan being straight, not being curved back, okay? That's the idea for us to move the hips. Now, there is an exception, we can tilt it. It's when we are bending the knees to create a little bit more beautiful, more volleyball hip action. In this way, we can tilt it a little bit, still being picked up, still beautiful zipper buttons uh, to allow the hips to have a bit more freedom. Just like you are sitting down, we're tilting a little bit or squatting. We don't really slouch like this, that's not very healthy. We're trying to be straight with sitting down. The moment we're getting up, this knee going back, quad pushing back, hamstrings pushing forward, pulling up. That's the healthy hip position for the flow of the movement and making sure that all the body parts connect it and go through it. That's why it's also called center. And here we go, guys. It is not only about beautiful dancing through the proper position, knees, hips, your spine. It is all about allowing the flow of energy in the body, creating that vitality that creates too much more happier being, feeling sensation. Now, it's not about being professional dancer. It's about the feeling that we can create through our movement and dancing which also leads to much more healthier and much more, hopefully, happier aging as well. Looking forward to see you next time. Thank you so much for watching and for following. We're always trying to let every heart dance. So please share the video with your friends, and I'll be looking forward to see you next time. Bye now.